How's it going, Dopamon fans? The off-season is almost over, and we are already talking about next year's RFAs. And today, the Buffalo Sabres made a big move to secure theirs. Tage Thompson has been signed to a seven-year deal worth $50 million. That's a cap hit of 7.142857, or for the sake of clarity, $7.15 million over the next seven years. Thompson is 24, turning 25 early in the season, so this deal will take him until he's 32. That's basically right through his prime and into his veteran years, so while there's risk involved in a signing like this, both parties secure their future. Thompson, of course, was drafted 26th overall in 2016 by the St. Louis Blues, and was part of the trade package that they sent to Buffalo to acquire Ryan O'Reilly. In hindsight, it looks like a really just a good trade for both teams. St. Louis won the Stanley Cup with O'Reilly playing a huge part of that team, and now the Buffalo Sabres get to reap the benefits of the pieces that St. Louis gave up to win. And Tage Thompson was a big piece. The six foot seven center winger having his breakout season last year, scoring 38 goals and 30 assists for 68 points in 78 games, which led his team in both goals and assists. He's always been a shoot first kind of guy, able to use his size to dominate on the ice, and his 38 goals is the highest since teammate Jeff Skinner scored 40 in 2018-19, itself the highest highest since Thomas Vanek scored 40 in 2008-2009. And I think Jeff Skinner is a great comparable, as the Sabres signed him at 26, around the same age as Thompson, to a long, expensive 8-year, $9 million a year contract. And it hasn't aged well. Buffalo improved last year, and so did Skinner, but even playing at his best, he was never going to live up to that contract. So Buffalo knows all too well about handing big money to scoring wingers in their mid-20s. It's clear that there's a risk here. Thompson is a one-time near 40 goal scorer, and there's no guarantee he'll improve on those totals or even match them for the next eight years. And that's not even where the big risk comes in. Remember, Tage Thompson was set to be an RFA next year. That means this deal doesn't kick in until the 2023-24 season. So while Thompson might improve, and this deal look like a bargain contract, it's possible he falls off a little bit, and going into the 23-24 season, this already looks bad before it begins. This scenario happened to the Chicago Blackhawks, who signed Seth Jones to an 8-year, $9.5 million a year contract, one year in advance. While he put up decent offensive numbers, it's clear it was a bad move for the Blackhawks, who are headed through a rebuild, and there have already been rumors around having Seth Jones moved, all before his contract even begins. So while Jones still has time to live up to that contract, it's a big warning for the Buffalo Sabres, who could be headed towards a similar fate with Tage Thompson. But this is the going rate for near 40 goal scoring wingers and top scoring centers in their mid-20s. Recently signed contracts that we can compare this one to are Kevin Fiala, who just signed for 7 years at $7.875 million, Josh Norris, who just signed for 8 years at $7.95 million, Robert Thomas, who just signed for 8 years at $8.125 million, and Brock Besser, who just signed for 3 years at $6.65 million. If I'm going to play armchair GM, I'm more of the mind to sign something maybe closer to Besser, 3 years at about $6 million per year would be a good bridge contract with much less risk, but given the current signings like Fiala, Norris, and Thomas, this is the cost for a player like him right now on a long-term deal. The real question isn't money, but term, and whether Tage Thompson can continue to improve or not. Personally, I think the NHL is adopting a style of play perfectly fit for a player like Thompson. He's big, he's fast, he's skilled. Today's NHL putting the puck in the back of the net is incredibly valuable and he can do it. So while I think that there's a huge risk here, Thompson being a one-time near 40 goal scorer on a team that hasn't had any real success, 
being able to secure that goal scoring for the future and you know an asset that the buffalo sabers traded for for the next seven years having that secured is the tough but correct call that a gm has to make so i gotta give credit to kevin adams for being proactive here that's it for this one. Don't forget to let me know down below your thoughts on the contract and if uh, Thompson will uh, live up to it or not. If you think he can, you know, reach that 40 goal plateau or if you think that was just a one time wonder. We're Dopamon, my best friend, and I talk hockey news analysis. We got mock drafts and scouting reports and a lot more planned. Uh, as we go into the preseason, we got some predictions. So hit like and subscribe to stick around for more dope hockey content. Peace.